I was born in Dortmund in Germany, which lies bang in the middle of Europe. And um, my father was Jewish, which meant that in 1933 he lost his job. Uh, we started to move around Europe trying to find a safe place and eventually settled in Vienna. And then that became unsafe for Jewish people as well. Um, so my parents did a very brave thing. Uh, they organised for me to get onto the kinder transport and come to England in July 1939. And I'm very, very lucky to be here. My early experiences really have influenced my life right till today. They made me able to deal with change um, and eventually to welcome change. Um, they made me determined to lead a life that was worth living. Um, and they've also turned me into a patriot. I love this country with a passion that perhaps only someone who had lost their human rights can feel. Well, I'm a fighter, so I fought to be taught mathematics. And they put me through some psychometric tests and eventually decided that I did have a talent for maths and allowed me to attend the boys' school because it was unisex in my day. Um, and um, so I attended the boys' school to get my maths tuition. I decided not to go to university. I was sick and tired of being poor and desperately wanted to get away from the charitable situation that I was in. Um, I worked at the post office research department of Dollis Hill, which may sound very boring, but actually it was a hotbed of technology at the time. And that's my first job. I was a very junior mathematical clerk. Again, I was sick and tired of the situation that I found myself in. Um, I really uh, was coming across sexism in an everyday environment, and I just didn't want to do it anymore. So I decided to set up a company that was the sort of company that women would want to work for. Uh, with the emphasis on flexibility, on work-life balance, on trusting each other, on team working. Um, and that um, I hadn't got either in my first job, which was a large corporate, Dollis Hill Station, um, or in the small computer company, which was excellent in many ways, but it was still sexist. Well, I was scanning newspapers for advertisements for programmers, and I was replying to them by letter, this was before the days of email, uh, replying to them saying, I couldn't, um, I wasn't applying for the job, uh, but I could provide them with programming services. Could I come and see them? And my letters were being absolutely ignored. My husband suggested that I, start using the family nickname of Steve. So instead of writing with that double feminine of Stephanie, Shirley being my marital name, um, I became Steve Shirley. And letters from a male writer began to get some response. I began to get some meetings. And I began to get some work. Well, it was a big decision to always share the profits with the staff, and eventually I took the company into co-ownership. 